Hi. So we are continuing with a sulfuric acid production for third year B.Tech chemical student, part of chemical technology subject. Now in this we are looking for a second part which is SO2 going to S2SO4. Okay. So let's start looking at this. And first go we looked at how do you make SO2 from sulfur. These are the required specification of the product which is required. This we discuss how does a development took place. Initially it was only a late chamber process which was not very effective. Then with research a second process develop which can produce SO3 and then using a platinum catalyst now it is improved to vanadium pentoxide and to make a sulfuric acid now this is a very important reaction SO2 reacting with oxygen to give SO3 now better the production of SO3 uh, better would be sulfuric acid production so better the conversion of SO2 to SO3 better would be final yield of H2SO4 so using Lee-Chatter principle you required a more amount of feed SO2 and oxygen to make SO3 also it is an exothermic reaction so temperature required to be lower let's look at the reaction again now we are talking about this important reaction where SO2 is reacting oxygen to give sulfur trioxide and then this sulfur trioxide can be absorbed into H2SO4 to give H2H2H2O7 which is oleum and oleum can be converted to H2SO4 by just addition of water. So this is a super concentrated H2SO4. So let's continue with the flow sheet which we have seen last time. It started with SO2. Okay. So now the presently we use a catalyst which is vanadium pentoxide. So the as we have mentioned before the reaction is exothermic so lower temperature is preferred. But the problem is the catalyst is activated at a considerably high temperature which is 450 degrees centigrade around so at least that much temperature should be there to produce SO3 effectively with the catalyst. So what is required is whatever SO2 comes it is around 150 to 160 degrees centigrade because temperature is that much as we know so it need to be heated with boiler to a 450 degree centigrade and pass through a gas filter to remove any impurities next it goes to primary converter a first bed there are four beds in first bed it get converted now the SO2 is higher so the conversion is higher in a first converter now because a reaction is exothermic a temperature of a product will increase to around 550 so it need to be recovered so we have a boiler which will reduce the temperature exchange temperature with a fluid which is coming from other place and then it is sent to a secondary converter where temperature is brought down from 550 around to 450 again and again it will get converted to SO3 which is a favorable temperature now again it's exothermic reaction temperature again increase you have to again take out the heat in an intermediate heat exchanger then it goes to a secondary converter the third bed again temperature will increase again you reduce it 
in the commonizer. Now you have substantial amount of SO3 which can be absorbed into H2SO4. Now absorption process is a lower temperature process. The two things one is conversion of SO2 to SO3 which is exothermic reaction because when a pentoxide get activated at a high temperature it has to be at minimum 450 degree centigrade which will give a substantial reaction rate whereas now in converter 1 bed 1 bed 2 bed 3 you have a substantial amount of SO3 form now because the product is there your rate of reaction will go down so you need to remove that SO3 so that a rate of reaction will continue in positive direction but now the absorption is a low temperature reaction so you can see here heat is removed in heat exchanger economizer so that it operates around 50 degree centigrade which is cooled using a process water so what you get is H2SO4 and unreacted SO3 which again can be heat exchange and sent to a forced bed so basically what is what the product coming is a low temperature so you are trying to exchange with a hotter stream to again regain the temperature now you can look into the second one what your stream is coming it is getting again heated in a fourth bed from the previous one it will make it to again around 450 degree centigrade in four bed again now unreacted SO2 will get converted to SO3 again it will increase the temperature it will reduce temperature again in economizer and finally absorb into H2SO4 to ensure that maximum amount of SO3 is getting absorbed now after four bed whatever small amount of SO2 is remain unreacted can be vented out but there is a limitation on what you can vent out so it's maximum it, it is getting absorbed into caustic soda and a remaining one will vent out to SO2 which is within a limit so you can see in a catalyst the maximum conversion into first and second and third bed whereas very small amount of conversion in fourth bed because uh, amount of SO2 is more initially so conversion is more as you go ahead uh, reactant concentration is less so rate of reaction is less and you have less conversion in fourth one these are the composition of catalyst now you can see the reaction of SO2 to SO3 and the best thing is those four beds are very crucial which will make it to SO3 you can look at how do you remove the mist with the candles now let's look at some safety issues into sulfuric acid we have discussed now how H2SO4 is formed now here we get around 99% of sulfuric acid so it's very soluble in it's very irritating so we should have a safety showers you should have a rubber gloves apron safety goggles so safety things should be there to take care of the H2SO4 contamination or contact with body these are different contact equipments which are used a ring type absorption tower your the, the contact is the most important thing so here we are finish the production of H2SO4 starting with SO2 next slide we'll go ahead next video we'll go ahead with the next process or we see with a comparison of two processes thank you so much